Presented by State Farm, helping you get to a better state. Hey, I'm Chuck and this is Josh from Stuff You Should Know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got a message for you about SOS, the distress signal. Yeah, there's all sorts of situations you could find yourself in where you needed to um, bang on a pipe with a wrench or yeah. tap on a trunk sure. from inside. Well, I was going to ask, have you ever been kidnapped and stuffed in the back of a car? I don't like to talk about it. That actually happened to my friend. Did it really? Stuffed into a trunk. Wow. And he did not know the signal for SOS. Well, okay. But he made it out alive. Spoiler. That's good. Yeah. So I think, Chuck, it's good that if you do find yourself in this situation, to know yeah. not only what to do to call for help, but also the origins of what you're doing. Yeah, like if you're on a beach and you're stranded, you can use logs and palm fronds to spell out SOS. Yeah. But if you want to go old school, you need to take it back to the OG Samuel Morse and his Morse code. Yes, okay. Samuel Morse, inventor of the telegraph. <clears throat> Is that not right? No, he gets a lot of credit for that, but what he really had the power to do was lobby Congress to actually build a short telegraph wire to test it out. Yeah, okay. I actually knew that. Okay. He was the guy who learned how to promote it. Yeah. On the government's time. Yeah, and he was what, a professor at NYU at the time? I believe so. And he went to a lecture on electromagnetism and he saw the light. He saw that it could be used to communicate. Yeah, just these little pulses across a wire. If I could just devise an alphabet that had representatives of letters mm -hmm. in these little tiny pulses, we could make it work. So he was one of many who had this idea about using electromagnetism for communication. Um, he was also not the only person who invented the Morse code yeah. named after him. But he was, from everything we can gather, a pretty good guy. So he's not one to be like despised. He wasn't like a villain who like took every credit for everything. Like he was just good at you know getting money to flow into good ideas. Yeah, and you know they had to name it something. Yeah, Morse code has a nice ring to it. Yeah. So what he devised was a system of uh, dots and dashes to represent the alphabet. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, they had workers on these telegraph lines. You could send messages across the country, across continents even. Yeah. Thanks to the uh, transatlantic cable. Thank you for that. Yeah, and it's really, really difficult to overstate the impact that this had. Yeah. Like you can go back and point to the invention and the spread of the telegraph as the beginning of the information age that we live in now. Before that, Chuck, if you wanted to communicate uh, from one end of the United States to the other, your mail was taken to St. Joseph's, Missouri and literally handed to a man on horseback mm -hmm. and you just kind of had to hope that nothing happened to him along the 10 days it took to get to the West Coast yeah. and deliver your letter. Now, with the advent of the telegraph, we could communicate almost instantaneously and it changed everything. Yeah, you know, handing a letter to someone saying, this is super urgent, this needs to reach them in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Now they could actually get an urgent message you know, instantaneously. Right, and like you said, uh, people on ships had telegraph operators. Sure. This was really helpful in the case of a distress signal. You could call for help from a ship to shore to another ship. There's a big problem though. Yes. It depends on what country you're in uh, at the time. Or what company. Yeah, they all use different distress signals. So <laughs> it was just, if you were off the shore in the Mediterranean Sea, mm -hmm. they may not understand your distress signal until 1906. Right. When they all got together and said, you know what, maybe we should come up with a universal distress signal that we can all yeah. use and we can all understand. So this convention came up with what we now call SOS. Well, the Germans, SOS, and yeah. everyone said, all right. Yeah, exactly. So SOS consists very simply of three dots, three dashes, and three dots. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it was real easy to send. Yeah. Real easy to receive and understand. And most importantly, it's totally meaningless. Yeah. You couldn't confuse it for anything else, right? So you're saying it doesn't stand for uh, ship offshore? Nope. What about uh, save our ship or save our souls? Nope. So you're saying it stands for nothing? It stands for absolutely nothing. And as a matter of fact, according to Morse code, uh, SOS can also stand for IJS, VTB, and SMB. So also they, meaning nothing. They, it means absolutely nothing. That's, again, that's why they picked it. So it wouldn't get garbled up into a, another uh, transmission right. or, or be confused for something else. They wanted it to stand out as its own thing. Right, like this guy is either in big trouble or he needs some cream cheese for his bagel really quickly. Right, exactly. No, they wanted to make sure that the cream cheese 
and the trouble stay totally separate. So you have dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, 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 SOS. Boom. And the uh, concept that it stands for save our ship, yeah. uh, stranded offshore. Save our souls. Right. Those were made up afterwards, which makes them what are called backronyms. Is that a real word? Uh, I think it's kind of a pop culture word, is the impression I have, but still it works. We're a descriptionist, not prescriptionist, remember? Well, you know what really works. What? SOS. Yeah, so Simple. the next time you're stuck in a trunk, what do you do? Tap, 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 dash, 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 tap, 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 pray, pray, pray. <laughs> right. So that's Morse code, that's SOS, mm -hmm. the simple distress signal that saved souls. It's a great story. <laughs>